Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus. This is the last video tutorial for this cute little dinosaur. In the previous tutorials, we have modeled him, UV mapped him, textured him, giving fur, and we've also started to rig him. We gave him joints, we gave him controllers, we constrained him, and we also binded the skin. In this video tutorial, we are going to complete the whole thing. We're gonna paint the weights, clean up the outliner, and get this character ready for animation. If you're new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. The, the software that I cover include Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and so much more. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's get started in finishing this cute little dinosaur. All right, so I have binded the dinosaur. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and finish painting weights. So let's grab some vertices. Oh, let's grab, make sure we don't select um, joints. Let's go ahead and grab these. Uh, we can shift right click, paint weights. So anything that's being influenced is white. Anything that's not being influenced is black. So what I want is my head joint to be 100, these vertices to be completely affected by just the head joint. So what I'm going to do is say value of one and I want to flood. So what that means is that now when I select this controller, it's going to just move the head. Oop, I forgot. And I have to do the same thing for the eyes. So let me select the eyes. Uh, shift right click, skin weights. So this is the head joint. Again, I'm just going to flood. So whatever happens to this joint, the eyes will go with it. How are the scales? The scales are, eh, it could be better. Let's do the same thing for these guys. Let's select this, shift right click, whoop, shift right click, paint skin weights, grab the head joint, make sure the value is at one and flood. So again, the purpose for this is if I select this, it will move it around. Cool. All right, same thing with the arm. This is gonna be easier. So shift right click, paint weights. We wanna make sure that this is only influenced by the left arm joint. So let's go ahead and flood. And for this one, we're going to do the same thing, shift right click, paint weights, but we only want it to be affected by the right arm joint, so flood. So the idea is that when I select this, the arm is going to be, now the body is a different story, but in this case, this is going to be okay. All right, the body. Um, I do recommend that you guys, you grab vertices because you may accidentally paint things that you don't mean to. So let's turn off IK handles and controllers. There we go. And let's not worry about the tail just yet. Let's worry about the body. Actually, let me deselect this part. And if it's hard to see, you guys can turn this on, which will turn it into default. All right, shift right click, paint weights. So let's take a look. This is the root joint. Uh, this is the leg. So we probably want to um, add and I always encourage you to kind of reduce the value when you start adding because you're going to add weights here. But let's keep going up the ramp here. So the spine one should probably have a little bit more influence. So let's go ahead and just kind of paint a little bit of influence around the body. Then spine two should have a little bit of influence as well. So let's go ahead and make sure that when we move joint two, it will um move as well let's go up spine three all of this is going to be influenced so let's go ahead and make sure that it's got some influence so again it's kind of like it's literally painting weights and spine four is the one that's probably causing the most issues so let's go ahead and make sure the spine four, four knows where to go it's to go up here at the top and then we have our arm joints which here we don't want so let's go ahead and replace it with very little so we're going to paint it away so this is a paint value of zero so I'm gonna go in and say you can have a little bit of influence around the arm but I really don't want that much influence but I guess I should have grabbed the neck all right let's go to the this one should have zero so let's go ahead and paint, paint that out all right same thing for this one we don't need that much influence around this uh, joint so let's go ahead and paint it away
And then we can grab this one and say basically we don't want any at all. Actually, we can even go to zero and just flood. Actually, I'll do the same thing for the other one. Flood. All right. Head joint. Uh, we probably don't want any influence, so let's flood that too. Uh, we have head two, and we shouldn't have any influence, so flood that as well. And then from here, I can kind of paint some of this away. So when the tail moves, I really don't want it to be manipulating too much of this area. So let me just go ahead and just kind of paint that out. And there shouldn't be any here, right? So when you move this one, it should have zero influence. Flood and flood. All right, so let's see the results. So now when I grab this, whoops, I'm like, why can't I grab it right here? Um, hello, pink. Right, it will move some of it, which is fine. But you'll notice that the body is no longer being moved. If I grab this one, that actually looks kind of cute. Actually, let's see it with texture because we can see it better with texture. There we go. It's got a little bit of influence there. That looks kind of good. Yep, it's looking good. Cool. Okay, let's grab the tail. Tail's looking all right. All right, cool. Looks like it's working. Let me zero this out. Okay. Sweet. All right, so there we go. We now have a very fast rigged little dinosaur. He now will be able to wave at you. Hello. Um, let's hide some stuff. Let's go ahead and um, create some folders. So this is going to be my joint uh, group. This is my IK handles group. This is going to be my controllers group. So control G. This is the ge uh, the geometry group. I'm going to set like all of them and then group it all together. This is going to be my dino all group. I am going to hide my joints, hide my IK handles. I got a bunch of stuff in here that I need to get rid of. So let me delete some layers. So this is all from my previous when I imported that lighting that wasn't cleaned up. So let me delete that layer too. We're done with that reference image. I'm going to select my control group and add it. So this can be my control layer. If I want to, I can just go ahead and hide the controllers and do a play blast. I can also grab my dyno geometry and add it into a layer. So this helps click this twice so it's referenced so I can't select it. Basically the animators can't select it and therefore it only they can only manipulate as the dinosaur itself. Uh, I'm going to select this dino group all and select all of this and right click and say, um, let's see, lock and hide selected. So again, um, I want to make sure that nobody selects this and accidentally changes things around. And then I am going to grab all of this and group it again and call it do not touch. So that should mean that if anybody selects this, they should know that they should not touch it. So again, that, that's basically a warning letting them know that, hey, you're getting into grounds that you may ruin something in this file. So let me go ahead and lock and hide selected. Cool. There we go. We now have a little dinosaur and it is ready to be animated. I do recommend that you might want to select things like visibility and things like that and scale because no one should really be scaling these things. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. Um, select scale and visibility, right click on it and just kind of lock and hide selected. Uh, only because I don't want someone to grab this and try to scale it and then break it. So at least now these things are locked and hidden and Except for that one, let me grab this one. Lock and hide selected. Now I didn't deal with scale, by the way, on this little dinosaur. Um, I'm not gonna really go into, you, can, you guys can go in and constraint scale everything, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. 
because again, this is supposed to be a really simple rig. My little character can now be animated. He can now wave his little tail around and he can do a little dance, a little jump, doop, 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 do all sorts of stuff. If you guys want to color it, let's go ahead and open up the attributes, go to object display. Uh, there is a drawing override. And if you want to, you can enable the overrides and then change the colors. So for example, if you want this one to be blue, which I don't recommend, uh, maybe purple. Uh, usually spines are yellow. So let's go ahead and enable override and change this to like a yellow. Colors to avoid is green, white, things like that looks like they're being selected. So enable override. Yellow. Sorry, hopefully you guys got some all of this. It was just really fast. Again, if you guys take a look at my previous videos, uh, you guys can, you know, kind of understand what's going on really quickly and then feel free to go from there. But I know I'm going kind of fast, but hopefully you guys, you know, got the idea. I wonder if there's an orange in here. I want an orange. It's like a bright orange. I hope they have an orange in here. Is that orange or pink? We're so limited. Orange. That looks okay, I guess. All right, let me find that orange again. It's just kind of nice to change the color so it's easier to select. All right, cool. Uh, usually left is one color. So for example, you might want to choose blue. And right stands for red. So again, you can tell the difference when things are happening. So if you select, let's say you accidentally flip these over, you understand that one's left and one's right. Uh, I might stick this one with yellow. So colorful. There you go, little colorful dinosaur. You. Pink, pink, pink. All right, he can sit down now. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys are interested in seeing more of these types of videos. That would be really helpful for me. It also helps, you know, the Google and search engine algorithm if you guys like these types of videos and of course subscribe and share if you feel like this would be helpful for somebody out there that has a cute little toy that they want to rig then please share my videos that would be amazing uh, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you guys can find free online resources such as ebooks three models and so much more so take a look at academicphoenixplus.com i do have core e-courses there as well they're not free but if you guys are interested in diving in more into modeling and texturing please take a look at my courses again thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned a thing or two it's always kind of fun to see your character come to life um let me go ahead and get these little guy to sit down and give you a little wave, maybe a cute little tilt in the head. Hello. And then just kind of wave at you. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you next time.